Okay, this is going to be a quick video um, on the wings that I made for my plow. A couple of guys, I guess, um, wanted uh, some close-up video of it. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Um, you can see, uh, I just kind of welded uh, some tubing in here, one down here, one here, one down there. Um, kind of like a receiver hitch type deal where you slide another piece inside them. I've actually never taken these off, so I would imagine that they're probably uh, rusted in. I don't think you're probably going to get them out without having some uh, real trouble. Um, the bracing here, I just just goes into there like that. Uh, you can see it's it's not the heaviest um, steel, but uh, these have held up really good. I haven't had any trouble with them. Um, they're actually probably way heavier than they need to be. And this is just two pieces of steel that I cut, welded together to make the angle. And this is uh, 3 8 which, like I said, it's probably way heavier than it needed to be. You can see in here, I did add a little bit of deal here because there was a kind of a gap. After I, after I made this, there's a pretty good gap here, so I just filled a piece of steel in right there. And then the bottom piece is just uh, two pieces of... Uh, um, actually old conveyor belt that my dad got at an auction. It actually is wearing pretty good. Um, you can see it's got some some wear on it now but it uh, it's actually done real good. Um, not sure else what to say about them but uh, I haven't had any trouble with them but I guess I wouldn't because they're I mean they're way heavier than they need to be. I've hit some pretty good hard pack with them and uh, they haven't moved. Um, I did have to cut the ribs on on the side here to, to make this work but you know when you're welding this onto here you know you got all this extra bracing so it, structurally the, it shouldn't affect it. Um, I broke off my broke off, broke off both markers on each side because of the temperatures. I think it's so darn cold here that uh, they j I just caught them on branches and stuff or something, and it bent it a little bit. And with it being so cold, they just snapped right off. So, but uh, there's uh, I guess a quick look at uh, my wings and. Uh, how I made them. Uh, they guess they they're about uh, a 40 degree angle, you know, from the from the plow. I think the factory Western wings are actually I think they do a 30 degree uh, angle from the wings, but uh, I don't know. I, I just I just threw these together. I, I looked at them where I kind of the angle I wanted them at, and I just stuck them there. So. It ended up to be about 40 degrees, so holds quite a bit of snow. A lot more snow than if uh, you know you wouldn't have the wings. Um, I wouldn't have a plow without wings. Not a straight blade, anyway. Seems like you're just wasting your time without wings. Um, this is actually the the plow is a seven six Western Pro, an old Unimount. Uh, with the wings, um, I'm about nine foot now, so um, I don't know. There should be. Um, they do sell rubber if you want to do an edge. They have uh, rubber on eBay that's fairly cheap. That uh, if I kept this, that's probably what I would have put on next instead of this conveyor belting. 
Um, and actually, that that rubber scrapes fairly good. Actually, I was actually surprised how good it scrapes. I thought it would bend over fairly easy, but <clears throat> that conveyor belting is uh, pretty tough, so it stays, just keeps its shape. Um, well, I guess that's it. That's all I can think of right now.